Morning everyone, welcome to a new Florida day. I think it's day three, is it four? I lose track, okay. lose track every time. We're up and about, it's currently half past seven. And then we'll leave it in a minute to head to Universal. Are you wearing uh, any ready there, Mary? I am ready to see if I've got my shoes and socks on, brush my teeth. What outfit? Now it's 11 degrees outside, so it's cold. You've gone for the warmest outfit you've got. I've got leggings on, I've got the top to go with it, I've got this jumper on, I've put my um, denim jacket on just to make yeah. sure that I'm warm. It should warm up once the sun gets a bit, you know, high up in the sky, but with it being so early, it's only 11 degrees, so it's chilly. Yeah. But we're going to get Universal and then I think the outlet's on the way back because we might buy some warmer clothes. <laughs> And I need to buy some socks and boxes and stuff. I don't bring much because I know I'm buying stuff yeah. over here. So, uh, Mum and Dad, how are, you, how are you getting on over there? Oh, I'm trying to wake up. Trying to wake up? I can't believe. It's only half seven. I know. I can't believe that the home it's 11 degrees. Yeah. And it's 11 degrees here. I know. Well, well but once, the, once the sun gets higher and it oh, get warmed yeah, up a bit. Drive those clouds away, won't yeah. it? They're about three miles thick. The sun's coming out at 2 o'clock <laughs> and it's going to a big fat 18. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Which, which, once you're powering round Universal, you won't know what's at you. No, I've no. got to tell the subscribers, we're going to be doing a vlog later at the end of this week. Yeah. It's a bit of a secret. Right. Well, a little clue, because I'm a really lucky man. Right. There you go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Answers in the what's it below, eh? He's just booked something that he can't wait you know, for. You know, he's like, you like, know, a, you know. He's like a kid. <laughs> Once we're escaping from Gringotts and becoming a Transformer and battling the mummy and all that, you won't be cold then. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Stride on. Come well, on. I'm, I'm Up on Adam. Up. I've got my thermal vest on. Right. Well, you'd rather have to put layers on than take layers well, off, we wouldn't you? we can take layers off later. Yeah. But in the summer, you can't do that, can you? Well, if we don't take layers off, I won't be happy. You'd now have your shorts on, your thinnest T-shirt, and you'd be walking around with your neck fan ready to go. I, I have had a pair of shorts on for six hours so far this holiday. <laughs> Mum said put two pair of jeans in. I said, what for? In case one gets wet. <laughs> So it's not actually raining anymore, though. It's, uh, it's a little bit of wind knocks all the drops into the pool. You see the steam coming off the pool there. Right, let's hit the road. Stride on. Have you got your uh, got your sun cream on? I know you got your sunglasses on. I'm just what being are they optimistic for? here. Well, I think the clouds have got a bit of a dazzle. You know what I mean? <laughs> a bit of a dazzle. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's 53. It's not that bad. I was going to surprise you with a game of golf. <laughs> I haven't got any wet gear, have we? <laughs> no. You got your Galvin greens. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Right, so we've just got to Universal and it's absolutely lashing down. It's pretty grim. We've got no rain max or anything. So I think we're changing the plan. We're gonna go and have a little coffee and a bit of breakfast, I think. Then maybe do the outlets. Then maybe come to Universal this afternoon, yeah. I think. We're gonna end up absolutely drenched. Cause you've got, got that big walk to the park before you even get to the actual park, once you've parked your yeah. car. Yeah. So it's just, and it is chilly today, so it's not worth all of us. It's 52 now. Yeah. It's 52. not worth getting drenched. I mean, once you've got wet jeans, they don't dry very quickly, no, do they? So it's just not worth it for us, really. So. It's a shame because it wasn't raining at Disney. I know, it's bright skies at Disney. I think it'll pass. And I think by the time we've had our breakfast, had a little shop, it'll, it'll, it will have passed. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, optimistic. I can, I can guarantee the sun is going to shine. You said it was going off at 3 a.m. <laughs> we're having an argument here. I know. Yeah. Apple, Apple, iPhone weather it app. Load of nonsense. Yeah. Did. So we're gonna go. No, it did till five past three. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee the sun's gonna come out this afternoon. I think it about, will. Round about three-ish. Yeah, I think it will. So we'll see 
go for a coffee breakfast and shopping first. Okay, so we've come to Starbucks for a coffee to start the day. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna go to Hi IHOP for breakfast. Then the outlet, it's just not gonna stop. There's a little bit of blue sky poking through. It will brighten up later, but uh, for now, for now, we're staying dry. So this is all from this new Olateo, Olateo, Olato, which is uh, they're putting olive oil in coffee. So I don't know, let me know if you've tried that. Is it any good? Apparently, you know, olive oil and caffeine help you go. So this coffee is making a lot of people uh, leg it to the loo a little bit. That's nice. You like that mug, do you? It's too heavy. They are big, heavy mugs in Starbucks. I've got this one at home, love this one. I got you a coffee instead of a tea by mistake, oh, no, didn't I? Think I? Got best start to a day. It's been a bit of a string. It is. If we'd have known, you know, we'd have had a little lie in and gone for a Disney breakfast or whatever. But it is what it is. It, the good news is the rain has now gone off, and it is brightening up a little bit. So a bit of breakfast, a bit of shopping. Sun will be out. Go and do a bit of minions, bit of bit of mummy, bit of. My wish down the path will be random shouldn't be too bad. There's some rides that we can do where there's never a huge wait for them. Jimmy Fallon and stuff like that, we can do some bits. We don't know until you get in there, because as they've just said on the radio, it's President's Day today, but only some of the schools are off and loads of them are in. So it's, it's one of those unusual bank holidays where not everyone's off. Some people are in, some people are off, so it's hard to tell. Well, we're about to find out. Either way, we've got to go and get, you know, pick up your tickets at the Will Call window yeah. and bits and bobs and get you on some rides. Oh, Gotta get you a big, massive, busting breakfast first. I'm talking like six pancakes, three sides of bacon, maple syrup, eggs. What, and then ride the whole? Yeah. I want to get you like eggs every which way, fried, scrambled, <laughs> over easy, and then a big, big side. You love pancakes, don't you? You love the sides of pancakes that it comes oh, with. Eggs on toast. That it? Yeah. Just eggs on toast. Just eggs on toast. And if I could, I'd have tomato. With, with the side of six pancakes. It's a bit of an unusual Starbucks, this one. There's no seats or tables. It's just a bench, isn't it? Why don't we take waiting room? <laughs> it is a bit like a waiting room, isn't it? With the bench style. But the good news is we're off. So this drink. Night for Dr. Death. <laughs> right, drink your coffee and stride on. Come on, there's an extra shot in there. Nice and strong for you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, got you an extra shot because you needed it. Well, Look at the bags under your eyes. I'd have loved an extra <laughs> shot in there. No, did I honestly got you an extra shot one? I promise you. Here you go, you're awake now. Look. Hey, right, carry on the mummy. Right. Well, hey, the rain stopped. It's brightening up a little bit, but the rain has stopped. Look at that. No more rain. That's it now. The, the days have changed. That's it now. No more rain. We're good to go. IHOP's just over there. Yeah. Right, and then we're going to go and get loads of bargains and great deals in the outlets. Yes. Character warehouse and all of that. You ready, eh, look? Me too. Hey, hey, you ready? Hey, shopping. Hey, yes, I can't wait. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I went to see Dr. Death in there and I, he recommends <laughs> McGarvey go to bed for a few hours, lots of rest. <laughs> You and your rest, you're up and out now. I'm gonna get you loads of great bargains in Under Armour. Hi, Hop. Where's that? International House of Pancakes. I said, where is it? Over there. The blue roof you can see just there. Can't you can't walk, walk to it. I we were walking. No, we're striding on. <laughs> we're driving on. <laughs> right, I'm laughing because everyone, this isn't the IHOP. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were meant to be going to. We've now come to a, an IHOP that's more near Vineland outlets because the one on I drive was Ramo's, right? So we're, I'm sorry that we're hopping around all over the place, everyone. We're, 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 we're nearly there, but right, nearly breakfast, there. shopping, yes. okay? <laughs> okay, so let me show you the menu here in IHOP then. There is some delicious looking food on here. These are all the uh, biscuits, which are like scones. So you've got like a chicken, look at that. 
chicken in a scone with hash brown there. One with bacon and eggs. And you've got all your different waffles. Look at that, chicken on the waffles there. Wow. And then this side, we've got the pancakes. We've got the gluten-friendly pancakes, which Laura's gone for. All your different types of pancakes you can have. Look at them. Thick and fluffy French toast. All these different combos. Look at that. Wow. More different little sides that you can add. The little buttermilk biscuits, hash browns, crispy breakfast potatoes. And then here's all your sweet and savory crepes. You can have little different like uh, thin pancakes, eggs benedicts. Got a few different options there. It goes on for ages, this menu, everyone. All the different omelets. All the different breakfast combos. This is what I've gone for. I've gone for this one, but I've changed the egg and I've changed the ham for bacon and more hash brown. That comes with pancakes. There's just loads on this menu. Absolutely loads. And you've got all different sandwiches, chicken burgers. This looked really good. A bit early for that though, but that looked really nice for a lunch. Look at that as well. Chicken quesadilla. And then there's a 55 plus men menu, same as in Perkins. So if you're over 55, here's all the discounted breakfast. You've got soups and salads as well. And then, so this is like a dinner menu now. You're then going into like entrees and steaks and platters. All your different drinks as well. Of course, your house-made milkshakes. Then there's also a big specials menu. Rooty Tooty combo. So you can add all these different fruits to all kinds of different pancakes and waffles and wow. Jeez. Massive. Also got happy hour as well. So from three three o'clock to eight pm, Monday to Friday. Happy hour, great value starting at six dollars on all these bread burgers and omelets, pancakes. Good to know. Okay, so here's the breakfast. This is mine with the pancakes, the bacon, the sausage, hash brown. Here's Laura's gluten free pancakes with chocolate chips, butter, cream, bacon. Mom, what have you gone for there? It's um, eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict, yeah. Nice. Dad, the same? Similar. I've got, I've got bacon jam on mine. Oh, right. well, you've, got, you've got turkey on there, have you, Dad? Yeah. Nice. Lovely. So there you go, we just paid the bill. Here's the bill, $75, and there's the different tax options. Our server was Herita, her name was, and she was absolutely lovely. One of the best we've had so far this trip. Really, really nice. So uh, labor, gave her a nice tip, but yeah, just to show you the bill, $75 for everything we had. Apple juices and stuff, it's not bad, is it? Pretty standard now. When you enjoy it like we just have, it's Every, everything great. went, everything every last went. bit got out. And always the big test. If Lydia eats it all, yeah. you know it's good. Plus it was quick as well. We waited very what, five quick. minutes or so very for the quick. food and service very good. Very quick, but it was fresh. Yeah, yeah. Our poached eggs. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. That's good. So two minutes down the road now, Vineland. Get yourself some bargains. Where hey, <laughs> lovely. Well, this is an unusual sight, isn't it? Me wearing sunglasses, it's starting to brighten up. I think uh, my brain was wondering where these have been. I never have these off. So we parked dead easy. It's literally 10 past 10. It's been open for 10 minutes. Big recommendation with coming to the outlet to come. As soon as it opens, you can park easy for free. Have a good wander around. It's not rammoed. Uh, if you come on a weekend or mid afternoon, it can be very busy in here. Here you've got some all kinds of different outlet shops, normally a little bit cheaper. We'll cut through Ralph Lauren. Remember, that's where we parked. Ralph Lauren. Uh, exit only. Yeah, we'll have a little good mooch here. There's Under Armour, Nike, and different outlets in here. They're often some uh, bargains, not as cheap as they used to be. Oh, but uh, amazing, didn't they? still some good deals, yeah. So the first little shop we've popped into is Nike. So I'm just having a little mooch around the men's section. Mm -hmm. Not a huge amount going on so far. So these are like 40% off a lot of this stuff. So for example, so it's $80, but with 40% off on that. That's quite nice. Sporty tops. There's nothing lighting the world on fire for me though at the moment. Bit of a Miami top there. 
40% off as well. So I'll keep looking. If anything jumps out, I'll uh, I'll let you know. These are all Jordan. Loads of the kids' tops and stuff. Twelve dollars ninety-nine is a good deal, isn't it? Got loads of kids' stuff. All the Jordan bits and that, all discounted. And the shoes as well. It's like twenty dollars for that. But yeah, loads of the shoes. Good prices on these. Little kids' Jordans and stuff. I do always find to be the women's section to be a lot better than the men's in here. Laura's eyeing up some bits here. Some nice stuff in the women's, isn't there? So much of a want. The pair of trainers I want. The jacket that I want. Love that. Yeah, there's always a lot more nicer more stuff in the women's than the men's, I find as well. There's loads going on in here. So just give you an example on like the sports bras for the gym down from 40 dollars to 27 how much are the shorts 25 25 dollars obviously i've got to add tax onto all of these prices but some good deals definitely a lot more range in the women's section in here loads of shoes today as well loads so laura loves this whole outfit 110 dollars for the jacket down from 140 Shoes are 95. Shoes are 95. I don't know about the green though. I love the green. I mean, I like the green jacket. I'm not so sure about the green shoes. I always do mention, I'm going to mention it again, just for anyone who hasn't maybe watched our vlogs before. Uh, these stands along here, the ones that sell the theme park tickets that look super cheap, $40 Disney World and stuff. Be wary with those. It is all tied in with timeshare tours and things. If it uh, sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Can I have a look in Puma, Laura? Quick, quick look in Puma. Some of the shoes are good prices here in Puma for these, $30. They're not bad. This is a kids section, but a lot of the women could get in them. Yeah, yeah. easy. So not bad go. little price them, are they? Quite nice. Little size fives, which are like a regular three. So Andrew's just buying a nice little top for his dad so That's there nice. it is like funky with the uh, yeah the look at that like, that is very garby isn't it yeah it looks it's nice thin. really thin nice colors it's quite a nice shirt to be honest so we'd be happy with yeah, that so on it. <laughs> we'll get that for him so as you can see it was 40 percent off so instead of 90 dollars in the end it was 56 with the taxes it's not bad is it and it's very, really, very thin, sporty material. That's why it's a bit more expensive. But I think Dad will like that. It's a nice, comfy shirt for him to wear. T-shirt. Now we're heading to Under Armour. So that was Penguin. Now we're heading into Under Armour, which we usually love. Normally love it in here. And as you can see, the queue for Character Warehouse is already massive. Okay, so Under Armour. These are all 20% off. A lot of the golf stuff here. A little bit of the clearance stuff as well. So we pick up some nice thin jumper there, 52 instead of 60. Not a huge discount on that. Or you sort of two for $25 on these t-shirts. That's a good price. So now two for 25. So there must be 25 each buy one, get one free basically on the t-shirts. Again, loads of nice stuff in the women's section. 40% off on all of these sports shorts for the gym. This is nice. The pink one, like that with the matching shorts. Nice little summery one. And then they do have these little extra racks, which are, must be extra discounted, are they? All size, so these are 60% off. So this little black top here, $50, but 60% off that price. So there's some little bargains. You just have to sort of hunt around a little bit. Like all the sports bras and that. Have to do a little bit of hunting, 40% off on these. Again, better in the women's than the men's in here. So I'm just grabbing a uh, pack of my favourite boxes. I love the Under Armours, so just grabbing up a little pack of these. I think they're $30, I think. So just to show you, it was meant to be 35 plus tax, and I got 40% off, so it was 22 in total for the boxes. I saved $14. Good going, isn't it? 
good going. I needed those. I didn't pack loads of boxes because I knew I was going to buy some here with the discount. All right, let's carry on mooching around then. We've seen a few bits that we like, but not enough to not to, not enough to buy. Not quite, but quite not. Yeah, not quite enough of a bargain to go for it. Look at the queue for Character Warehouse, but look everyone, look, blue skies, sunshine, finally. Well, I'm sorry, I just can't wait in that. That's just far too long. Oh, oh, look, there's mum. Okay, maybe we will wait then. Mum's already in the line. Hey. <laughs> okay, we're in. Luckily, mum was already in the queue for us. That worked out very well. Let's see how much these Starbucks mugs are. What have you spotted there? Cinderella's Castle, $89. So how discounted are these Starbucks? 30. 13. Oh, that's a good deal, isn't it? They've got a gold one there as well, or a green one. $13. It's a good price, isn't it? I might have to get it for that. Yeah. That's a good deal. What, what are they in the parks? 50? Yeah, I think they're normally $50 then. Sorry. I think they're normally 50 bucks. Yeah. $49.99 plus tax they should be. Ah, oh, there you go. It's a good deal. Maybe that's why people are queuing up. It's got some lovely ears here. $12.99. That is cheap. Very good price that. Very cheap. Some Christmas decorations here. $7.99 for the Starbucks one. Animal Kingdom. A couple of nice ones there. Good prices. Life Day. It's got some good stuff, so I can see why the queue was big. I think the word gets out that there's good stuff in here. I mean, those ears, $12.99. The cup lore has got a very good uh, price. I like the way today, though, they've not overfilled the shop. Last time we came in here, if anyone remembers the last series, we came in here and it was, you couldn't move. You can actually move in here today and see what's happening. Oh, some Toy Story stuff here. What, what, what have we got here? Plenty of uh, discount clothes going on. I watch some of these little tops here, like... $20 instead of 40 A lot of it is half price, at least in here. So Laura's just found some of the nice tracksuit pants. How much are they, Laura? 25, 25 instead of 50 so half price. Trying to find the matching jumper. We've only seen it in XXXL now. I think there's no chances there. They've got some nice coats in here as well. Let's see what these are. $125 down from $250 for a Heli Hansen. It's a nice jacket, that. Got some crocs here. How much are the crocs? Where are the croc price? No price on the cro uh, crocs. $35 from $65. Again, quite a good price. They've even got gold or black ones here for $7.99. Even cheaper. Wow. It's even cheaper on these. $7.99 from $50. You'd be gutted if you paid $50. Then came in here and they were $7.99. So always keep an eye out behind the till they have things that aren't out on thingies. So you've got some Dooney and Burke purses, nice big picture frames and stuff, bits of jewellery. So do always have a look behind the till as well. So there's some little goodies behind there that they don't have out on the floor. Well, we've just seen Dad, so I've given him his shirt now, just in case he needs to change it or swap the size. That's the sleeve. <laughs> just in case, should fit nice, I think. I think that's the perfect size. But just to double check while we're here, because yeah, you can always like you can, like side, you you can pop in and change. But you like the design yeah, yeah. with the cocktails on and stuff. <laughs> Have you seen him? It's like a bag of spanners. <laughs> oh no, that fits perfect. That's nice, huh? <laughs> yeah, Happy. Um. What do you think? I think it's the next time. <laughs> okay, go the next time. So you best go and swap it then. So right. Just go and swap it to an act. They had them all like, all there, so. See, this is why I wanted to give you it now, just in case. Oh, I thought that would have fitted perfect, but yeah, I agree. Next size up would be a little bit more. So it's just down there, down on the left. Not far. I'm off to Penguin. Right, okay. <laughs> well, it's so nice to see that Florida sun blue skies and palm trees again it's starting to go lovely now in time for us to go to uh universal this afternoon excited get your annual pass back on oh, i might even have to pop in and try the water guns maybe oh we'll have to wait and see see which park we decide to pop into 
I'm excited for that. Still more shops to mooch around yet. Coming up, Tommy Hilfiger. Hopefully gonna get some of my favorite socks that I, uh, I like from there. And Laura loves to have a little look in the Jimmy Choo store. Here's all the shoes Laura loves to have a look at. Jimmy Choo. The white ones with the bows on. Yeah, so one, one of the oh shoes got the bow word. on the back and one of the shoes got the bow on the front. I've got dress the, this isn't even really an outlet shop, to be honest. They're all no. full price, really, in here. Yeah. It's, uh, we don't normally go in just to avoid any uh, temptation around the very expensive shoes. I just can't afford them. There's no point going in. No, and you wouldn't wear them. When are you going to wear white those with the with the bows on. You don't, you just get them for your box to have them on display. You don't wear them, you just look at them. Shoes on display. Listen, the amount of women out there who say, yeah, I get it. Trust Do you me. get it, girls, on, in the comments, ladies? Yeezys and whatever. I don't display you. I don't display them now. I don't understand any of that. Let me know in the comments, ladies. Would you get a pair of Jimmy shoes just to put them on display? Yes. So these are the socks I always come in and buy and they are the comfiest things in the world. A lot of you spotted them on my travel day and said you need new socks. They looked like I had holes in them in the travel day video. It was actually a couple of blobs of bleach, wasn't there? There was a blob of a uh, bottle of be bleach in our washing cupboard and it uh, put, a, put, a, put a couple of drips on, but these are them, they're amazing. And it's buy one, get 50% off. So I'm gonna get a few packs of them. They are just the best socks ever, especially for me in Tenerife. I wear ankle socks all the time for work every day and everything. They're just really, really nice socks. Love them, so we get four packs of them. Yes, Love them. The yep, the little sign on the back. But yeah, they're really good socks in here, and it's a good price as well with the fifty percent. So the sixteen fifty for the second pair, you get half price. So they're really good value. They wash well. But yeah, I had to pop in and get some, didn't I? Yeah. Drive you nuts with them socks, don't I? Oh, honest to God, nightmare, nightmare organizing them. Nightmare. I hate them. Just socks. I just like hours. my socks. They're not going to take me hours to try and organize. I just enjoy my socks. Old ones, your new ones, your big ones, your small ones, your ones with the bands going across, the ones with the helping a sign on the side. Nightmare. <laughs> Nightmare. I'm, I'm a delight. There's like eleven categories of socks. Eleven that categories. I have to I'm just like my socks. You know what I mean? Now the other good little bonus was I got fifteen percent off with my uh, eat and play card which came with mum and dad's park tickets so we had a good saving there it was to buy one get one half price then 15 percent off you can also enter your email here as well and get five percent off so always uh, make sure you do that enter your email you have to ask sometimes though they don't go don't do it and then you say if i put my email in there's normally a discount and then they uh they normally say yes and give you it sometimes you do have to ask yeah it's a good little deal that have a little look in Kate Spade now, which Laura loves. A little, giving us a little price chart at the start to show you the discount. Oh, there's Mum. We knew she Mum would be in here. <laughs> it's sixty percent off. Right. See if there's any nice bags in here. That's quite funny. Happy to save you. And those cups. Mum used to have a purse like that. I remember it. The donut one's good as well, isn't it? Oh my god, that's really good. That's fun, isn't it? How much is that? Price on the uh, so it's all on. Gives you a big thing on here. Try and work out the prices. Why they can't just put the prices on? I don't really know. Would make it a lot easier. Forty percent off. Does it say the original 49. price? Forty nine. Forty nine minus forty percent. So it should tell you. Four two nine. Comes down to so two five seven. It would be plus tax. Discounted, yeah, it's big, big, big discount. Laura's seen these and says she must get one. So this is $129, almost too good to be true. $130, Laura. I need it. Even if I just put it on the I've seen it online on Instagram the other day. Right. I have to have it. They do look nice. I've every single one of these, I'd have all of them. They are nice, aren't they? Stunning. Well, you're going to treat yourself yeah. then? Yeah. Second bag of the trip, you and your bags. How many bags do you need? Now, well, Laura's going to treat herself. Rightly so, it is nice that. I do like that. Gorgeous, isn't it? And the Kate Spade stuff normally lasts, doesn't it? The guest I've stuff you've had before. Kate Spade stuff and it lasts for a long time, so I'm happy. Yeah. yeah. I like the Kate Spade. That'll be nice. Second bag of the trip, you've got your little Disney outfit already. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now you've got your second little bag, treating yourself. Yeah, and then I'm pretty much done. Then I don't really need to buy myself much. Yeah, you might see yeah. some other nice little bits that you fancy yeah. along the way, but it's got to be something you really, really like normally, isn't it, that you, yeah, you go definitely. for? Yeah, I like these earrings. A little bit different. I like them. 60% off, it's plus an nice. extra 20% off on top of that. So these go from $99 all the way down to $23 with the discount. A lot of these uh, little bits of jewellery. So Laura's treating herself again. It's a little pair of earrings to go with for $23. Not a bad little deal, no, is it? No. Go for it's it. It's amazing, yeah. Gotta be done. Some nice little Disney bags and purses here as well. Little keychains and stuff. So there is Disney stuff in here as well to keep an eye out for. Well, they went and got Laura a nice, clean, fresh one out the back. They spotted Laura carrying it and said, let me go and get you a nice, fresh yeah, one. I'm made up with that. Nice, clean, fresh one. Laura's uh, mum's getting a uh, nice little purse, treating herself. So we're pretty done with shopping here now. I just wanted to show you inside here all of the different eateries you can have. So if one of you doesn't really want to shop or you get hungry from all the shopping you're doing, all the, sh all the uh, money you're spending, you can come and have hot chicken and hot dogs and poke bowls and... Starbucks, Wok Express, Asian foods, there's all kinds of different little food stands here. That chicken teriyaki looks amazing in there. That looks gorgeous. Chicken teriyaki with rice, look at that. I could just eat that now, that looks stunning. We got all these different eatery options and drink options in here that you can try. We're gonna get ourselves off to Universal now. We've got to decide whether we're gonna do studios or islands. Well, I am excited to get back to Universal. It's been a few days. Normally we've been by now and I've definitely got that universal itch and my annual pass is screaming at me to be used. Here he is, Mr. Happy, Hi, keeping Rich. guard. You all right there? You changed your top? Yeah, uh, no. No? I went and tried the other one on. Yeah. And it was, it was too big. Too big, so you, get, you stuck with the original? With the original. I think with your vest off and that would be fine. You had a no, vest on underneath, didn't you? It was absolutely fine. It did look good. Yeah. Yeah, I think you'll be yeah, all right. Out, and it was hanging off you. Well, you're gonna. You're probably a little bit bloated as well with all the breakfast well, you've just had. <laughs> you know what I mean? And what have you been buying? Anything good? Laura's treated herself to a little bag, and uh, I've got myself my boxies and socks and stuff. Yeah. Tommy Hilfiger yeah. Under Armour. Essentials like yeah. boxies. That's yeah. the one. And Lydia, what have you uh, been spending my money on? I can't say on the. Mum got a couple of bits from Kate Spade that cannot be Kate revealed. Spade can't be re that means it's expensive. Dun dun dun. Well, your card came out, you know what I mean? It was a bit of a beep on the old uh, contactless, you know? So, Laura, we're off to Universal. Before we go, show everyone your new bag. Show everyone your bag, that you, your other new bag that you've got. Because uh, uh, the lady in uh, Character Warehouse commented on this. So this, as you can see, is a Harry Potter bag. I got this from Acrylic Addict on Instagram. I'll put up our Instagram, Acrylic I've Addict. You've got a couple of bags, haven't you? The, um, what do you call it? Stranger Things bag that we've all seen. And the yeah. Stranger Things earrings. So i seen this and I was like, oh my God, I need... This is Harry so Potter, isn't it? And asked her how quickly she could make it because it's handmade. Yeah. And could I have it? So she... Very, very kindly made it for me and sent it. Yeah, you made, made it very quickly, but it's lovely, yeah. isn't it? So that's perfect for today, Universal. Yeah. Now, you two, question for you both. We're off to Universal now. If you didn't know, I'm an annual pass holder there, so I had to get free parking. Oh, you're not, are you? You never told yeah, me Yeah, I get that. free parking. I also get discounts on anything that we buy in there. It's a really big surprise. I, I can't, can you yeah, that? they call it... They call it a UOAP for short. <laughs> it's a Universal Orlando annual pass Can't holder. We just but have a, an OAP pass. Well, <laughs> well, to, well. If they did, you'd be certainly in there. You know what I mean? So why did you keep that a big secret? I don't know. I just felt, you know, people didn't really need to know. As I said, there's people that wear these lanyards and stuff. You know. Uh, anyway, we're off to Universal. Which park do you want to do? Universal or Islands of Adventure? Uh, Universal, I think. Okay, Universal. I was itching to get back on my water guns. However, thinking about it, it's a bit cold yeah. for people to be doing Popeyes, so... I don't think there'll be many on that. No. There'll be no line for Popeyes today. No. Who's want to get soaked? Well, we'll do Universal then. We'll get a bit of uh, Jimmy Fallon in and stuff. Are you ready to go then? Are we hitting the road? Or are you, the road. you're I'm just chilling, you know? I know. Ready I know. to go? Another clue, though. That's the power of money. Paper blood. 
Power and money, paper blood. Okay, that's another clue to his big thing that he's got coming up. Do you remember, Dad, you sitting here, you actually tried, believe it or not, Dad, tried Prime before it was even a big, big hoo-ha. Oh, yeah, and we were I off did. shopping and I came back and he had this bottle of drink. He's like, I've just tried this, son, it's lovely. And I'm like, what on earth is Prime? And you'd bought a lemon one and a, I think it was a blue one. Really and you loved it. Ah, oh, it's lovely that. And then it all became a massive thing. Then the prime, and you couldn't get it, and you just been up, and just fancied a bottle and bought it, didn't you? Wasn't there another time you left me here and came back out two hours and I had six pints of Michelob Ultra? Yeah, there was one where you were like <laughs> steaming. There was one where you you kept going up to that bar over there, and you were I steaming. That. Yeah. Yeah, that it was a rotten off day, and I was just like, you were all shopping. I thought, well, you've got to stay cool. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get ourselves to Universal then, stride on, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Have you seen how much we've done all by quarter to twelve? Yeah. Shopping, breakfast, Starbucks, getting up in the mornings is super important. If you can get up in the mornings, your days will last a lot longer. Get up and out, it's the biggest thing. It's hard getting up sometimes, it was hard this morning, but up and out, got to be done. It does help though, the blue skies and palm trees are certainly lifting the mood. So the difference between getting here when it first opens, look at it now, really busy. Get here when it first opens at 10. It's a far more pleasurable experience. And then you're heading out when everyone's heading in. It's a great feeling. Great feeling. Dad's happy, he's got him, treated him to a little shirt there. You know, because it's so hot, Dad, you need the thinnest golf shirt you can get. <laughs> How nice is it to see blue sky, Dad? Blue sky, white clouds, yeah. No rain. I know, uh, I'm looking forward to it. And this is now everyone battling for parking spaces because there's no free spaces anymore. Everyone's driving round and round trying to get some. So yeah, big key, get here when it opens one day. Have a little lie in, have a breakfast or something and come down ready for it when it all opens at 10. And uh, you won't have to have all these battles for parking spaces and stuff. Well, this is a much more pleasant view arriving to Universal now. Bit of blue sky. What we used to. Nice view of Volcano Bay there. It's a bit better than this morning, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's nice now with a few nice fluffy clouds around. What ride are we looking forward to the most, everyone? Um, I like a bit of Transformers. Yeah, I like Transformers. I think it's better than Spider-Man. Yes, I do like. Oh, nah, not beat Spider-Man, I'm afraid. Mummy for me, I think, or Gringotts is my favourite in Universal. Whether we'll get on them though, with yeah. the we'll see. Well, we've you've got now, um, you've got the new Minion Blast to try as well that you've never done. Oh, right. That's uh, open recently. You've never done it. You like stand on a moving conveyor and shoot stuff on the screen. Oh, right. Yeah. So you've got that to do. We'll have a look once I get on there. I'll have a look on the Wi-Fi. See what the wait times are like. But uh, much more pleasant. Arriving like this, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, so compared to uh, four hours ago. Yeah, what a difference! No way. Oh, here we go. Get the annual pass out, Laura. Hey, oh, yes. annual pass. Lovely. Got to have me a uh, little ceremony, put my lanyard I back know. on. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Free parking. That's lovely, great. lovely. Well, <laughs> he's laughing in the back, loving life. <laughs> What's just happened, Laura? Well, we got to the ticket, the <laughs> car park ticket yeah, attendant. I'm giving it a lot. Hey, free parking, yay! <laughs> then she goes, Ma'am, I think your annual pass ran out on the 3rd of December. I was like, are you sure? She went, yeah, 3rd of December. You forgot to renew the annual passes, but I didn't receive any email. So just had to pay $30 to park, which I'm hoping they're going to refund. Yeah. I'm hoping they're going to refund that when we go, we're going to have to go and renew them and speak to them at the desk. <laughs> but I, I, I did not get an email. That's how I've sort of forgotten. Yeah, I've been busy. I thought, so busy. The email normally comes through, time to renew, blah, blah, blah. Didn't get an email. So they've run out, they've run out in December. We're not annual pass holders anymore. Oh, I've had no. to pay to park. $30. That, that hurts, that. I've not paid to park in the theme parks for over a year. That hurts, 30 yeah. bucks. Do you know so, what? 
But she did. I said, will we get it back if we be go and renew straight away? She said, you might do, you might not. Depends who's on. Yeah, so, so it depends if there's a manager there to help out or whatever. I hope so. whoever's on will deduct mm -hmm. it. It's only fair, really. Yeah. Give us the, I'm going to take the receipt. Or even if they give us 30 quid to spend in... Yeah, something. $30 to park. We're only really going to be in here for a few hours as well. I know. And then to make it worse, we're on the roof. Oh, we're right on it. Oh we're on my God. You know where we are. I said it, Dad, didn't I? E.T. E row 666. Oh, <laughs> right. e now, this really does. When you park up here, you do feel like you're on another planet. I know. You're yeah, so like, far like away. You were when you were coming in with your annual pass. Oh, <laughs> so, what well, the good news is, guys, we're going to renew them anyway, but we'll show you the process, show you how much it is. I've also had a few of you message me and ask, can you find out exactly how much it would be to upgrade from an annual pass from a 14 day pass? So I will find that out for you as well. But uh, we had to go to guest relations to pick up mum and dad's tickets. The only downside is paying the $30 to park because we've got to go to guest relations anyway. Yeah. Um, oh, we love our annual, we love a little Garvey trip to guest relations, don't we? Oh, Tom, he loves the guest something. relations, he does. <laughs> Well, we'll uh, pop in. We'll show you the process, but yeah, I'm not an annual pass holder anymore. And now you can stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> well, annual pass or not, it still feels amazing to be walking back down these moving walkways. The music on as you're walking in, and those attraction signs. You know you're nearly there. Onto city walks. Oh, it does feel good to be back. Still has that special feeling, doesn't it, Laura? Oh, yes. Although I'm a bit cold, hoping that once we get in the park it'll warm up a bit. Should do, it's a little bit of a breeze as we're higher up in the car park here, but I'm just made up the sun's out, the blue skies, universal time. So we're going to go to the guest services at Universal Studios at the entrance. Not the one here in City Walks. And we'll uh, certainly let you know how we get on, but how nice are these blue skies? Really does feel good to be back in. I've loved the Disney fix, but I have missed my Universal as well, though. Still our special little annual pass holder place. And yeah, it just still has a little bit of a feel to it, Universal, of course. Fairly busy heading in, but it doesn't look too bad in the park, so wait time-wise. Let's get these tickets boxed off. I'm going to get you all the information a lot of you do ask me about upgrading those 14 day passes if you're coming for two trips in one year for two weeks each time i think it probably would be worth upgrading you do get discounts and stuff as well and free parking depending what pass you go for and yeah if you're going to do two trips in a year you're going to do universal a lot i think the annual passes are worth it got a little advertisement out here for the paris olympics 2024 July 26th to August 11th, all on NBC for you Americans. Nice that with the Olympic rings outside, it does look pretty busy in there, doesn't it? We've got Mardi Gras festival going on at the moment as well, from February 3rd all the way to April 7th. We're gonna head to guest services just behind these Olympic rings. Well, I didn't receive any email, I've been through the emails, I did not receive any email to renew the passes. I should have kept on it, but you know, you have a busy lifestyle and it's cost us. We don't get the 20% discount and um, they're also they've said that they can't refund the parking but ask the the guest relations in city walks so we're going back to city walks to speak to them to see if there's any way that they'll allow us back on the renewal price or at least refund the 30 i'm not paying 30 dollars and full whack for annual passes you know how much we back universal all the time so we'll see what we can do in this window it is my fault obviously you've got to keep on top of it and renew within 30 days before or 30 days after which we've just missed but I didn't receive any emails or anything which is annoying otherwise I would have done it but yeah you do you do pay the price it's 20% discount if you do it within that window if you don't you've got to buy them all over again so bit of a shame bit of a shame not the start to our universal visit I wanted let's see if this uh, if this gas services can help us at all there's a big queue for it but I mean if I've got to buy new annual passes again that's fair enough but it's a bit disappointing that they don't go, okay, that's a shame. We'll give you the $30 back though. She says she can't do it, so. And to come to this guest services, which should be able to do it. Why one can and one can't, I don't really know. Let's see how we get on. Obviously, it is my fault not keeping on top of the dates, but I don't know, it's a bit of a shame, a bit of a shame. 
Well, queued up there, not really the welcome back we wanted. They can't do anything about it, fair enough. But then they've now sent us back to this one to try and get the $30 parking back. I don't understand what's going on. I'm getting passed from pillar to post here regarding the $30. Uh, so we've got to buy whole new annual passes, so that's my bad. I've just lost probably about $250 there without the 20% discount, but that's my bad. But we're getting passed around for this $30 parking. So we're gonna have to buy whole new passes. The only good news is you get three months free when you buy new annual passes at the moment. Um, but yeah, the price difference is about $150 each difference. Uh, $100 odd each between renewing and buying whole new passes. So lost a bit of money there, which is annoying, but uh, they don't seem to really be bothered either. I don't know, it's a bit of a, I get that it's my fault, but they don't seem that bothered about keeping you as an annual pass holder at the same time, which doesn't feel that sort of, it's not got that special feeling that we got when we bought them, put it that way. But yeah, now we're back to this one to buy them and hopefully get the $30 back because people are saying you can, people are saying they can, then they said they can. I get passed around a little bit. I don't think we're going to get the $30 back either to park, which is uh, a shame. So a bit of a costly mistake. So the big lesson is, if you're an annual pass holder, forget emails and stuff. Have a big reminder on your phone not to miss out because it will cost you. I mean, I've wasted about an hour and a half now already going between the two uh, guest relations. Mum and Dad are sat there waiting to go in. It's, uh, it's been one of them. One of them mornings is now turning into. I mean, at least the sun's out. Got to stay positive, but yeah, the reaction is not not as I'd have hoped. With the uh, there's no oh that's a shame, but we'd love to keep you and da da da. There's just like didn't renew them oh well I don't know I don't know maybe it's just me maybe it's just me obviously it's a lot of money that you're paying or passes or the new ones we're gonna be buying now are about six hundred dollars each so it's not, not it's not small money you know what I mean it's uh, yeah make sure you check the dates that's all I can say I do my best to stay positive do make sure you check those dates it's where I'm kicking myself really kicking myself but at the same time I would have liked a bit more of a friendly response, in a way, but hey ho. So just to show you the prices here, 14 four day tickets. They don't do the 14 day tickets here, that's an international thing. So you do have to buy the 14 day passes online, which is what mum and dad's got. And then here are the annual pass prices and the opening times as well. Is it though, I do want to recommend that you guys Okay, so tickets all sorted, I'll go through that in a moment. Just gonna get ourselves in. This is the new photo validation section. So these are meant to be really good. They just recognize your face and in you go. No more fingerprints and stuff slowing you down. It's meant to be pretty quick to get through now, which is nice. Right, okay, so I got a lovely lady the third time uh, in guest services there. She was really nice. I know what she was saying was a lot of the, the other workers, they get overwhelmed, they get complaints a lot. So they can be a little bit, you know, thingy. Uh, but she was lovely. What she explained was, you know, she said, I can really work hard and get you the 20% discount on the renewal, but your renewal will be from back early December and you're gonna lose two months anyway. She said, if you buy the new passes, you're getting three months free. So she said, really, if you do the maths and work it out and mathematically and stuff, you're better getting, just buying new passes and getting the three months free. So that's what we've done. Um, she couldn't give us a refund on the parking though, so that does hurt a little bit. Coming in, we've just spent, uh, I'm at 1300 odd dollars. I mean, he won't refund the $30 parking, but she couldn't. But she said to try guest services inside the park, because you never know. But it's done, we're sorted. We're back with pass holders again. And uh, yeah, thankfully the third lady is a bit more friendly and a bit more, a walk. bit more caring. That was a long half an hour that, half an hour that. Half an hour that was. A bit longer than that. It's a bit longer than that, but we're in. Sorry for the wait and the delay, but we're, uh, we're sorted. It was one of them. I was getting passed from pillar to post, but we're done. Did they refund your parking? No. no. No, I've been told to ask inside the park now. So that's like four different guest relations. Some say yes, some say yes, say no. Anyway, where do you fancy heading to then? Where are we off to? We haven't been for ages, so, you know. Taking it all in. You've not seen all the new Minions land, have you, on the right-hand side yet and stuff? We do Minions Blast as well, that's on the right. Normally not too long of a wait. Yeah, we'll have a little moochie then. <laughs> there he is in the window waving. <laughs> the panda. Funny. Some of the Mardi Gras stuff up there as well. 
it's just gorgeous to have the sunshine and blue skies back. The, the wait times are very, very busy. We're just gonna have a little wander and a bit of a mooch and see what happens. Have a look at the Mardi Gras booths, as Laura says. Yeah, see what food they've got. But our tickets are sorted. We're all done. We're boxed off. So we come if we come early tomorrow morning or what have you, we are good to rock and roll. And uh, we can have a good little uh, mooch around. What's this? Layered casserole with sweet plantains. No, these are some of the different uh, booths for the Mardi Gras. I can't see many uh, sets for the Halloween horror. Yeah, you're missing That's your Halloween nice. night yeah. Mum's missing a HHN. Yeah. Speaking of HHN, there's a HHN shirt there. Pina Colada, seventeen dollars with a reef with a uh, souvenir cup. We'll have a little mooch. It's going to be quite busy wait time wise. We'll just have a mooch and a drink, and uh, we've sorted the tickets anyway. So. See if we can get on Men in Black or something like that. First thing, I think first thing in the morning to key. We did try that, but we were going to be soaked, so it was one of those. Been one of those days a little bit today, but we'll get there. We've got beignets and an espresso martini in this one. They look quite nice, actually. Sweet fried pastry and powdered sugar. Mum would like that. There you go. You're taking your top off, yeah, Blumenick. You're getting I'm, hot I'm there, are you? Now, it's just about it warm enough in the sun to do this. The sun does not make a difference in the blue sky. Oh, when the sun's out, there is a little bit of a... Well, there's That's power in it. It is. Lovely and warm. Lovely and warm. More stands there. New Orleans. Let's have a quick look at this booth. And we've never been here for Mardi Gras, have we? Never. Certainly never vlogged it. These are quite cool. Some little stands. Fried green tomato po' boys. Not sure about them. And you've got a category five punch in that one. Punch looks nice. Well, this one's all Spanish, so uh, salads, papas bravas, Catalana, sangria. You get a sangria flight for $17 with three different types of sangria. So as we say, plans change all the time. Andrew has been wanting to come to Shea Alcatraz again for the longest time. So we're back. He's already in the land. He's just marched on. Oh, his favorite bartender is here. So he's going to be made up. I forget the man's name. Look, look, he's happy. He knows. <laughs> What's his name? Murph. Murph, there you go. So Andrew's made up, so we're going to get some cocktails. I'm going to have a look, see what's going on, see what I can have. Oh, I might just get a Disavano Coke Zero. That'd be nice. Oh, we'll see. I'll have a look at the cocktails. Oh, oh, there's, there's a cocktail going now. Very, very happy. So we'll see. Okay, here's the menu then. So I'm going to go for an Ocean Attack. Murph is on as well. He does the. Oh, I love him. He's awesome. If you uh, follow Anton Universal, you'll see Murph everywhere. He's brilliant. Yeah, these are all the different ones you can get. That looks quite nice. The cranberry lemon splash, Mum. That sounds nice. No? What are you ocean fancying? Attack. I love ocean attacks. Ah, uh, three ocean attacks then. No, I'm not going to get the Bruce. Either the Alcatraz or the Bruce. Oh, get a Bruce. I think, I think I'm going to get the Alcatraz. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Alcatraz. Is it Night Strider? It is indeed. You remembered. You remembered. Yeah. Great to see you again. I kept calling him Knight Rider, but I remember it's Knight Rider. <laughs> yes. You guys are back in action. That's We're back in guys. action. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. What are we going for? We're going to have, I'd love an ocean attack. You it's got to be done. Two. Yeah, yeah, you got it. And uh, two ocean attacks, please, Murph. That's the one. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Well, I keep missing every time we've been, I kept missing you. We're still annual pass holders, but every time we came, we, we keep missing you. Thank you very much. You yeah, yeah. yeah. On the, on the trick, the trick last yeah. yeah. But you're going to be on again. You're going to be on again. We're going to try really hard. Ah, okay. We're really going for it now. Yeah. Well, you've got to come and see me. If you've got to come and get this cocktail, it's amazing. Got to come and get a cocktail from Murphy. He's awesome. Oh wow! Fantastic. Anything in particular for, or you're just gonna? 
nice. Go Paris, the oh, awesome. And then my kid wants to go to a soccer or football match, so I think we can take it to Tottenham and Burnley or something. Okay. Because that's nice. the only one we can afford. Manchester plays that day, but it's like, woo! Crazy yeah, price. Yeah, the, 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 the uh, Tottenham Stadium's lovely as well. It's a nice new stadium. Nice. Oh, you'll enjoy it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm ready for this. This is going to be good fun. <laughs> Do you remember this, Mum? Oh, look at that. Look at the Alcatraz. Look at that. And you may recognise that. Two weeks. Two weeks. And we're on our, we're on our third day. Are you doing all the parts? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be good fun. Look at that. Looks amazing. Oh, here we go. I'm so excited for this. So excited. Oh. Theme to the occasion, Jules, this time. If any of you remember in our vlogs, you'll remember what's going to happen now. But if you're new to the vlogs, you've got to come and get one of these off Merv. So we're in Shea Alcatraz, that's the big Jaws statue over there that you can get your picture with. Just near King's Cross Station. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to this. Let's put this right here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Marty Jaws in the water. Marty Jaws. Monday afternoon, it's Universal Time. If you haven't already heard, this is Night Strider. It's Mardi Gras time. And thanks for uh, chomping by. Chomp, 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 chomp. Chomp, 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 chomp. And by the way, if you're going on a float tonight, let those beads fly. Chomp, 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 chomp. Thanks for chomping by. Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mayor. Awesome. What was it Marty George you called Marty him? Jaws. Marty George, yeah. brilliant. And look at those cocktails, they look absolutely stunning. Wow. Well, how nice was that? Mayor remembered just from one video, a lot of you went and saw him and got cocktails from him. He's brilliant. All the staff in there are fantastic in Shea Alcatraz, but Mayor is a uh, really great guy and he's really. He does loads of fun things in the pass all the groups and stuff on Facebook and he's just a really good, fun, friendly guy. So if you see him, tell him we said hello. This cocktail, by the way, you don't see me drink much on the channel, but uh, these cocktails are really, really good. And a little sweet on top. You might have seen that in our bar, maybe a little bit of a feature. Uh, we did a bit of a twist on it, not quite as good as here, but you know, we tried. But a little sweet on top, so nice little uh, added to it as well. It's just sunshine, cocktail, it's gotta be done. Gorgeous, love the music as well, just relaxing, chilled. Well, how's your cocktail, Mum? I think you'll like that because it's quite uh, Malibu y, coconut y. Yeah, fresh, isn't it? How's yours, Laura? You went for the Alcatraz, didn't you? Beautiful, I'll get it again. Yeah, definitely get it. Enjoying again. it? Really nice, yeah. Now, Dad's over there in the shade with a monster because uh, if he says if he drinks now, he'll be in bed. He's having a, a can of energy drink. <laughs> he's just a bit of hey the sun is strong it's lovely now it's out look at this this is now florida is back everyone florida is back well and truly yeah there's a lot more like it a lot more like it so just next to shea alcatraz is uh, this next booth which is the philippines of crispy lumpia pancit bihon and cheesecake now laura's just said as well further along in the thailand section is chicken satay skewers now i love chicken satay skewers so this might be an option to get one day as a little bite to try yeah chicken satay grilled chicken skewer oh. And Thai green curry as well. Nice. Very nice. We've got a really cool view of Shrek Swamp being built there in the DreamWorks section now. Look at that. Coming up out of nowhere. It's changed a lot in the last few months. Looks brilliant. So that's the new DreamWorks section going in next to where Woody Woodpecker was. That's Shrek's house. Oh, right. Getting built there. Yeah, so they've rethemed the Woody Woodpecker ride. 
Yeah, yeah that's Shrek's house, that getting built. How cool is that, the swamp? I like it, the swamp. It's good, isn't it? You've just missed trying to put the wire up to catch the lightning. Oh, uh, the, uh, with the DeLorean, I missed him. To the future. Well, the wait times was nothing less than like 40 minutes, nothing. but that's fine. We're still enjoying a mooch. We're going to maybe go and catch the Blues Brothers or maybe see if we can get in the horror makeup show, but I'm not too sure whether we will. But the Blues Brothers are on in 10 minutes or so as well on the main street, so we'll catch a bit of that. Just enjoying breaking ourselves in. It's good to be back. It is President's Day, so the crowd levels are quite high. Also, Rocket Down as well, which normally absorbs quite a few people in the queue line. So with that being down, doesn't help the wait times on everything else. That's no, just, oh, haven't we all missed that sun? I'm sure you have watching the vlogs as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it doesn't half change everything, doesn't it? On the screen as well, yeah. watching on the TV. It's great to bring you those blue skies back, everyone. Well, it looks like we've just made it. Horror makeup show it is. We've never filmed this on the vlogs before. I haven't done this for years and years. It's really good, this. Really good fun. Shows you how all the horror makeup's done for the movies and stuff like that, special effects. We'll like, catch you inside, I'm looking forward to this. Hello, hello, good to see you. Thank you very much, welcome, thank you, thank you. Hey, thank you, Yvonne, our sign language interpreter, making it into our show. Thank you very much, Yvonne. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Yvonne. Welcome to your family vacation. Today, my guest is Mark James. He's a makeup artist, creature creator, here to give us some behind the scenes secrets from his favorite horror films. So without further ado, please help me welcome my good friend, Mark James. Ha <laughs> 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 he's in the back a little louder. Mark James, so nice. <laughs> 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 Signed by Rick, so this is all based on David's face. Sections were cut out and fitted with pistons, and these are running on pneumatics. Air pressure, air pressure. This is underneath all this. This is traditional foam latex. What made this gag really work was detail. Airbrushed makeup, glycerin for sweat, porcelain dentures for teeth. Under the cheeks, there's a series of bladders which ripple when they inflate and deflate rapidly. To finish it off, real human hair. Cool. Where do you get real human hair? Uh, from kids from Wesley Chapel, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, Griffin. Hey, Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> And was this something you would use still? I mean, this looks realistic. Oh, we, no, absolutely. We still work with this stuff, but we'll enhance it nowadays with computer graphics, CGI, all things right. like that. I have a clip. Is that all right? Sounds good, sir. Awesome. So, mechanical effects. I love them, but they're very limiting due to budget or time, so we also work with computers. Now, on the screens, these are animatics from the mummy. These are digital placeholders. We create these to give the, uh, the uh, actor and the director a sense of the motion and placement of the creature before it's finished. And there were two separate makeup teams. This is the digital team. They captured Sophia's entire body and facial features. That's why she's wearing that outfit. So they could more shift and change her body, her face, her look, her movement, all of this in real time. Have a great night. We love you all as well. Have a great night in Universal Orlando. Bye bye. bye. Well, that was a good fun little show. Laura's now interested in this for another day. Complete your look with these monstrous accessories. So you can actually get your own monster makeover. So I'll have a look into that to do another day. I think that'd be funny. We'll get you walking around the park, Dad, looking like a monster. Oh, right, lovely. <laughs> Here's a little look at some of the pass holder merch. Oh, that's nice, the Christmas decoration. Wish it wasn't food on it, though. I'd have that if it wasn't the food stuff. Not too fussed on the pretzel, pretzel pizza thing. Different little mug. That one's quite nice. Yeah, it's all the food thing, which is quite good. Just, I wouldn't have it myself, but I do like to, like that they brought a Christmas decoration out though, $24. So these are all the different options you can go for then. Mum's yeah. just mooching through. We're gonna do it another day. What should we make dad become? Mm -hmm. I reckon that one with the hair on could be funny. Option five, maybe. Keep going. Oh, okay, we got our magnet now as well, our annual pass magnet, good stuff. Keep going, keep going. Ooh, maybe. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there's loads, we're gonna be here all day. That's quite good. I'll do something really stand out, I reckon. You go around the parks with it on. That one's really good, Laura. Laura might get one. that one, yeah, that'd be good. Laura. 
Oh, Laura's got it past all the magnets. Yeah, these are the thing, things you yeah. do. Yeah, it's loads. Something mad for Dad we've got to find, yeah. So I just thought I'd show you my annual pass magnet. I don't know if we can get it in this shop. So she said, oh, do you want to pick up your magnet while you're here? So I was like, oh, didn't know we could get it. So this is Mardi Gras, and you'll pass all the magnets. So that's amazing. So made up, we've got that. I thought we'd have to go to Islands of Adventures for it, but I made up. Andrew's just in a line for this now, very excited. Oh, would that be good in the bar? You get all the different Oh my God, that'd be amazing. $55 a glass. Oh, no chance, no chance. But we don't know what we're going to do now. We think we might head out, go home, have a shower, freshen up, have a nap, maybe. I'm knackered. Have a nap and then to see what happens in the evening. We don't know what we're going to do tonight yet either, but we'll work that out. No worries. There's the Scooby Gang. Oh, they look really good as well, don't they? <laughs> Looked like you this morning, that dad. Scooby Doo. Good uh, picture opportunity, that one. Okay, so credit where it's due, they've just refunded my $30 for the parking, so all worked out in the end. It was quite frustrating uh, this morning, but it's a bit, I suppose getting passed around, but it seems that the guest services inside the parks, I think, are in some ways better than the ones outside the parks. I think the ones outside probably deal with a lot of issues and people trying to trick their way in and things like that. I think inside the park, maybe a little bit easier, a little bit better, in my opinion. But uh, we're sorted, our annual passes are done, we've got those three months. Uh, we did miss out on the discount, but that's our fault. And uh, they did kindly refund the parking, which was good. So uh, don't just give up when one person says no, and you think someone else might say yes, just keep trying, because the lady on the, on the parking kiosk definitely said you should be able to get the money back, and we did in the end. So uh, well worth sticking it out, $30 back, fantastic. That covers our Shea Alcatraz cocktails. Feel a bit better now, feel a bit better uh, about it all. But yeah, it was a bit frustrating. You can probably see that in the video. But uh, back to normal, the sun's out as well, the blue skies are back, the lanyard's on, and uh, we're back to free parking again. Right, let's find mum and dad, there they are. And uh, we're gonna have a little mooch in the Universal shop on the way out, and uh, maybe go for a nice cr uh, twisty treat on the way home. A nice ice cream, since it's sunny. I wanted to do me little clue for Saturday. Uh, well, it's a gorgeous view back there, absolutely stunning. Rocket on the way as well. We've just priced fast passes for today if you wanted them. $250 per person plus tax. Wow, crazy. But uh, certainly wasn't going to be doing that. I'm going to film a couple of cameos on the way out, book through the shops, and uh, I'll catch you on the other side. So here we are, just heading into the Universal store now for a quick little look around. I think it's going to be basically the same as last year when we came. Well, last time we came because I've seen the same yellow tracksuit outside. But we'll have a look around. That's cute. And we'll see what's going on. You see, I love Harry Potter, but I'm just not into the merch. For some reason, it just doesn't do it for me. But, still here. Still a lot of it. I like this. Really nice, so is that. There you go, lots to choose from. So let's see what else is going on apart from Harry Potter. Let's see what else. Ooh, decorations now. I do love a good decoration. Let's have a look. Oh, this lights up. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Oh wow, wow, so lots of different ones, so Andrew has got this, he absolutely loves it, I love this, it's so cute, and so is this ticket to London, really really cute, and I do like the golden snitch, that's really nice, so we'll have another look around and see what's going on. So they still have got my spirit jersey. It's, it is a lot thinner than the Mickey ones, but I do love it and it's nice comfortable to wear. Again, still got these, which are really, really cute as well. 
So a lot of the same stuff than last time, but it's still nice. There's still plenty for everyone. This is a trackie I love. I don't know what I love about it. I just think it's super cute, however. 110 quid, it's a bit steep for me. I did say this last time, a bit steep, but it is still beautiful and it's still available. I just wish it was just a little bit cheaper. But we'll uh, keep looking, see what else is on the go for here. I've seen some new bits. Oh, my eye. <laughs> There you go, there she is. Oh, these are cute hat scarves and gloves. Now, I did see these in another shop. This is a head warmer. I like that. So they're really cute. So I wonder if those little fingers are special so you can touch your phone. But yeah, if I lived in a cold country, those would be gorgeous. I do like those. And I've got men's stuff as well. Really, really nice. I like that. Really good. So this is new. Nice. Oh, that feels really warm, thin but warm. Oh, and I got it in blue as well. That's good. Yeah, nice looking stuff in the shop. Now, if you're into your Hello Kitty, these are adorable. Oh, just look at them. Super, super cute. You've got a little purse and two medium sized purses they're super cute if you like hello kitty in this bag down here super cute and here we go we have he's so fluffy we all know what that is we all know what this is as well and we've also got the cute sponge bob really good lots to choose from really lots of cute stuff some colourful bright stuff, some nice muted stuff, like loads to choose from. It's a big shop. I mean, we've seen these ones before, but they're amazing. They're so good. And the bubbles are super cute. I mean, I'm not about to pay the price. Let's have a look. $18 for two bubbles. We've seen that one. I do like that one. But this little trackie is cute as well. I've not seen that before. Feels nice as well, and then of course the purses, yeah. Loads, I quite like it, quite like the choice, can't complain. Just look at this popcorn bucket, look at that. The Mardi Gras crocodile, I think he is. I don't know whether he's an alligator or is he a gator. I don't know. You've also got a Mardi Gras top, the mugs. So, this is the theme for this year's Mardi Gras this gator or croc. So Lots to choose, loads to choose from to be fair. That for the little kiddies. And then of course, yeah. You've got that bum bag. Different kinds of tops for it. So plenty to choose from again. And you've got more Mardi Gras stuff over here. So you've got a skull. A skeleton with this cup. Oh, this very posh cup. There you go, the spirit jersey, and of course, all the beads you need. So, we've got loads of different ones to choose from. I mean, they're really light and flimsy, I suppose. That's good, <laughs> that's good for the uh, hot weather if you want to wear a couple of them. But, yeah, plenty to choose from. Plenty in here, I could have bought maybe some bits if it wasn't so expensive, but I'm happy to just have a look. I'm going to go find Paul and Andrew now and then we'll head on home, get a twisted treat and have a nice break and a nice shower and yeah. stuff like that. So here's the Mardi Gras tree in full bloom with all the beads on. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? They do have to come along and take all the beads off because they uh, fall on the cars and stuff. But oh, yeah, get them on the top is what I, I know. They just chuck them and chuck, chuck them, them until, they, until they land, yeah. So these are all the beads that get thrown out on the Mardi Gras parade and then people chuck them on the tree looks nice so them as they're coming out. yeah yeah they chuck them on yeah yeah the universal haven't done it this is all oh, guests yeah. right. so guests have been throwing them on yeah look at them all down oh, there as well where they've all fallen down that's, missed. that's where they've missed yeah it's a few on this one ah it's good fun that is good fun isn't it i like doing this so we're just a twisty treat just ordered some lovely ice cream on the way home what have you got there mum look at the size of that 
Oh my god, that is ridiculous. I'm launched with M&M's for my neck, Mum. You did make a mistake, Andy. <laughs> Mum specifically said, can I have a large or extra large? I know, the biggest one you've got. No, you've oh, some heard. nice ice cream coming <laughs> out for you. You've heard Dad say large. We, we, know, grande, you said. we normally grande. We normally sit there, it's very busy, so we've gone for a drive yeah. through. Oh, there's my caramel sundae and Andrew's hot fudge with M&M's. Look at oh, that. They look amazing. I do love the caramel sundae. Oh, it is beautiful. Good. If you have never been here, definitely, definitely go. Because you're just to die for these ice creams and they're really good price as well. Good value. Yeah. That's really good <laughs> ice cream, that. I've woofed mine. has gone. Mm. Lovely. How are we getting on there, Mum? Mm. With your large... You ordered this by mistake. <laughs> Grande. Dad, Dad's got mixed up with mine. I got a Dad's small Dad's gutted. <laughs> Dad got a small one. He's all gone. He's gutted. Do you want me to go back through? No, tell you, I could eat it. I could eat two or three of them again. You love them, don't you? Oh, Mum's giving me some hairs, apparently. I am. They are apparently. really good, aren't they? So if you like soft serve ice cream, they're delicious. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well, I've missed this. Just chilling in the hot tub, in the sunshine. I'm doing a little bit of editing, I'm just chilling out, relaxing. Miss these blue skies, glad to have them back. And now, while I've been chilling here, I've just booked another new restaurant that we've been meaning to try for ages, uh, and that is the Boat House in Disney Springs, so that's where we're off to tonight. I've just booked a table on opentable.com, uh, which is nice and easy. Just went on the Boat House website, clicked on reservations, and it's nice and easy. You just put in your card details, Obviously, you will be charged if you don't turn up. $10 per person, so bear that in mind. But a lot of the restaurants in Disney Springs now are on open table, including that new one that we tried in day one, the Summer House. That's on open table as well, where you can make a reservation. Uh, but if you miss it and you don't turn up, you will be charged $10 each, so just bear that in mind. But yeah, we're off to the boat house tonight. That, that's uh, exciting. I'm looking forward to that. It's a lovely sunny evening. It looks like there's a nice little bit of a sunset going on, so... I'm excited for that. Bit of the boathouse, something different. Some of the desserts and stuff look amazing. I think they've got that giant lemon meringue pie. Oh, I'll have a little bit, a little bit of that. A little bit of that'll do me nicely. Uh, now, a lot of you don't know what is coming up for Mum's birthday. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but we have got something really, really exciting for Mum's birthday. Uh, Dad has also got that event coming up at the weekend that he's just booked. Uh, we've also got that football game coming up at Orlando City. Uh, plenty of other parks to do uh, as well. She has a lot, of, a lot of different things coming up this series. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure people knew that a lot of people are saying I need to fly to all these different places. That's that's not what we're here for. It's it's our holiday. It's where we want to come. It's where we want to go. Uh, we all love it, and, and that's basically it. And uh, if you do feel the same way, if you could just come to Florida, it's addictive. I don't know anyone who's come to Florida and said they don't want to come again. I really don't know anyone who's come hated it I've never come back don't want to come back everyone comes loves it and they're all desperate to come back again it is very very addictive uh, so do let me know your thoughts on that in the comments but again we're gonna get to get out get dry jump in the shower and then we'll get ourselves ready I'm gonna go I haven't even told them yet I'm gonna tell them I booked the boat house I haven't even told them <laughs> they're all I think napping and stuff and having showers and I'm gonna go in and tell them the good news <laughs> welcome everyone then to Disney Springs Nice and vibrant in here tonight, ready for our boat house reservation. Uh, we're about an hour early, so I might go for a little drinky somewhere, might have a little mooch. I'd like to check the Columbia store. So we'll work out with mum and dad where we're gonna, I think we might just meet them at the boat house. They might go for a drink. We might go for a little mooch in the shops. So I'd like to buy a little jumper from Columbia. I've been eyeing up. So we'll make a little plan. I'm ready, I'm really looking forward to dinner. Like something different, really something new. Yeah, something completely new that we've never tried before, that we've wanted to for a long time. You excited for dinner? I really am excited for dinner, but I'd love a little drink first. Love a little bar stop first. Are you going to go with Dad to a bar and me and Laura going to mooch in the shop? So, yeah, like so should we just meet at the boat house then at quarter nine? 15 minutes before our reservation. Which bar are you recommending? I was going to say you should try the hangar bar, which is, which is next door to the boat house. Which is where? What do you mean which is where? You've got to go down that way. Straight down there. Right, okay. right. So I'll meet you at the hangar. We'll be around there about quarter nine. Right. Okay. Hangar bar. Hangar bar. Okay. Okay. Ciao. Right. Ciao. Bye. Have you got money? To
do love it in here at night when it goes dark. These twinkling lights on the palm trees are stunning. Beautiful. It is gorgeous wandering around, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely fields for it as well, isn't it? They did smash it with this. Changing it from downtown Disney to this was a massive winner. Because the ambiance walking around at night is just wonderful. The different themes and just visually and aspect wise, stunning. As so we're heading to Columbia, which is just a bit further up on the left, you'll have seen me in those Columbia shirts quite a lot on the channel that I got last trip, dead cool and thin. I want more of those, but I'm mainly after this jumper that I keep seeing people wearing, like a fluffy style jumper. So we'll see if they've got it, because I'd wear it on this trip while it's a little bit nippy, a little bit cooler. But I'm, and then probably come back and I'll get the cool shirts. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that's where we're heading to. But yeah, walking through here. Stunning. I'm excited for dinner though. I'm really hungry now, so I'm super excited. So this is the jacket, Laura. What do you think? Stunning. This is the one I was thinking of. Love the on the inside. <laughs> uh, this is definitely not the jacket I was uh, thinking about. I will. Well, yeah, that's it. Yeah, the fluffy one. That's yeah. that was it. That's, that's the exact one. How did you know? Because I know you. Right, so we're here in Colombia now. I've got some shirts this is for lisa in sanasti this is our sanasti blue color lovely thin shirt this is the same material as i got last time they are super thin these got like a vent in the back uh, so that's a ladies cut one for lisa at work this is for me casual these super thin dead cool these 60 dollars, but they are dead comfy they wash really well you don't have to iron them or anything that's that one oh, yeah. i've also got two myself for work in the sanasti blue this is my company color, so I'll have these for work. I'll get my logo put on here, and these are dead, thin, comfy. So I've got two of those, and these are also SPF 50 and stuff, so for Tenerife, really good. And uh, that's it. We've not managed to find any other casual, wacky ones because it's not summer. Yeah. So everything's all jumpers and stuff, isn't it? So an expensive little trip, but this is all work uniform, so I'll treat myself to these for work because I'll definitely, I, I sort of avoid wearing shirts because it's so hot. Yeah. And then I've got uh, treating Lisa. It's all basically the right colour. You'd yeah. never notice. But uh, treat Lisa to one of those in the ladies. Cut one nice and thin for the summer in their uh, Canaries. Yeah, it's got little pockets on and stuff. But yeah, I've not managed to find a little jumper thing I was thinking of. I've seen YouTubers wearing them. They're like, they're hard to explain. Like sort of fluffy, but fluffy on the outside. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so just to show you, we got annual pass discounts. I said, did you do any discounts? She said, yeah, annual pass yeah, or... So... 10% so 450 off 10% off each thing yeah. so 6 450 450 so yeah in total so you got yeah got a good chunk of discount off yeah good stuff it went from 206 to 186 or something yeah. like that so good stuff I'm happy with that yeah a little bit of discount I didn't think you could get always ask if you've got annual pass always ask if there's any discounts going on you never know Now, when I mentioned Gideon's the other day and I said you have to queue for a long time, I had a few comments saying, oh, no, you don't. You don't have to queue and da, da, da. This is the queue for Gideon's. I just don't get it. So someone said you don't have to queue, but so what is all this? I just, I just couldn't queue up for a cookie. I mean, I get it for like some of the rides, flight of passage and that, but all this, all this for a cookie? Come on, guys. Are they really worth it in the comments? I'm going to go and ask her, and I'm going to go and find out how you get a cookie from here. Okay, so I asked the lady, she said if you're coming on a weekday, it's a virtual queue. Um, or sometimes it's a standby queue, I don't, or sometimes you can just walk in. So I, I didn't really understand it. I think what she's saying is on the weekdays, it's a bit less of a queue. And the week, weekend's much longer, so that one is like a 30, 40 minute wait if you want to go and stand by and just stand in the line, 40 minutes. Or on some of the days it's a virtual queue. Um, so I think Saturday, Sunday it's a virtual queue because it's like up to two hours, she said. And then on the weekdays, sometimes it's like a standby line or sometimes it's virtual queue, but I don't want to wait in that. I'm not waiting 40 minutes for a cookie. I'm going to try and get one this trip though. I want to try it, but the line just amazes me. Every time you go past the unbelievable lines. So we've come to Hangar Bar. This is where I sent Dad to go for a drink, so there's a balloon up there 
I do like the hangar bar. Let's see if we manage to make it in, see if we can find Dad. I love the theming in here, and over there is where we're going, the boathouse. Oh, there they are. So we've just come out the back of the boathouse to the dockside bar. We should be able to get a nice little drink in here while we wait for our table. Look at those for some lovely views. Wow, looking right across. Nice place for a little drink, this. Well, this is nice, just chilling here by the uh, by the water's edge. We've got a nice heater above us, keeping us nice and warm. Bit of nice music going on. Here's a little bit of a, a contrast in the music though. My head is a little bit battered with You've got the live band there that you can hear and then you've got the own speaker here with different music on. So we've got like two songs going on at once which is playing with my head a little bit. I know it's nice on here, I love the view. Love the view. So we've got the drinks menu here. There's loads to choose from. So you've got cocktails, crafted cocktails, your bottles and cans of beer, your Florida craft beers, and then you've got a massive selection of wines. Look at all those. Sweet and easy. I think Andrew might want one of those. Then we've got your reds, different kinds. It's a big, big wine list. So there'll be loads of really nice stuff on there. So I'm going to, I was looking at the blueberry lemonade, but then it's been made with um, homemade lemonade, which means it's not going to be fizzy, I like it fizzy. So maybe I was thinking of an American Mule. I think I'm just going to get a sparkling rose. I think I'm going to get that French one. I'm going to get that and see what Andrew likes. Well, I've treated myself to a glass of wine. What did I, what did I go for, Laura, in the end? A what moscato. Is it? And moscato. Sweet, sweet moscato. It's lovely. Very nice. Well, that's interesting. Why and it's you... just a little bit busy. That is beautiful, that. $12 for the glass. Very nice. That's one of Sarah's favourites. Moscato, Italian. Sarah loves it. How's yours, Laura? Yours? And beautiful. I've gone for sparkling, sparkling as well. Sparkling rosé. Yeah. That's nice. Filled up the car coming. Yeah. Were we on vapor? Were we on how many? Yeah, miles? yeah, we were really, really low on fuel. We had 20 miles left in the tank. So, how much to fill it up, shall we? 38 dollars. Good value, that. 30 I'm, quid. I put 50 quid on the pump. I didn't even take it. No, 38 no. it maxed out at. <laughs> and that was from the red light was on all day. Red light comes on, tells you got 50 miles left. And I ran it all the way down to 20 miles. In England, minimum, that would be 70 quid. Oh yeah, 70 quid for a car like 70 that. Quid easy, for a car 70 like quid. But yeah, the wine, very nice indeed. I'm thinking maybe going for a burger tonight. Whoa. Thinking a, a classic cheeseburger. Or I push the boat out. Do you get it? Get it, the boat uh -huh. out. Push the boat out and I go for a steak. New York strip steak and fries. Or filet mignon. Filet mignon, $70 though. Whoa, whoa. You know what I mean? Is that for the whole cow? <laughs> so I'm probably going to go for a burger with a side of mac and cheese, I think. Okay, so just taking our seats, I'm going to show you the menu. So it is a very seafood based. I don't eat seafood, but I am fancying the classic cheeseburger there. 
but there's a lot of nice seafood on here if you like your seafood dad is going for the uh, mahi mahi i think the fresh mahi sandwich yeah i got some nice options on here including the steaks they're a little bit pricey but they do look good i haven't got the dessert menu yet which also looks amazing yeah i think i might go for a, a burger tonight i think so here's the lovely warm bread they've just brought over with some honey butter on top that looks amazing wow I love your new glasses, Dad. They're lovely, Dad. Oh, don't put this on, Moo. Then I borrowed mums because I can't see the menu. <laughs> Do you know what? You look lovely. You, you are a they really suit you. What's scary is their prescription. Oh, no, no. You're still going through the menu, are you? What are you getting? Firecracker shrimp? No. It's not cheap, though. Pan breaded coconut shrimp with orange chili sauce. Nice. Treat yourself, I'll treat you. <laughs> Go on, YOLO. Do I look like complete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why'd you lend me your glasses? Because you asked me to. Because I can't see without them. <laughs> You're a long time back in Magull having takeaways, aren't you? And chippies, so enjoy and, uh, now. Meals that go ding. Yeah. <laughs> air fryer ding meals. <laughs> oh, the air fryer makes a different noise. <laughs> and you go, oh, not done, back in. <laughs> okay, so the food did take a very long time. 50 minutes in total. Didn't get any starters, so service hasn't been amazing. We were a little bit ignored. We haven't been asked if we want second drinks or anything. Um, food finally arrived. Burger is very nice. Chips are a little bit cool. Laura's got a gluten-free mac and cheese there. They've messed that up as well. That should have been chips. Yeah. But they've given her two portions of mac and cheese. It's beautiful, so I'm taking it home because I'm going to reheat it because it's stunning. Nice, and how's your steak? That is absolutely beautiful. However, it's very garlicky, which I love. I don't know nice. what would love, but if you don't like too much garlic, be aware. Okay, and mum, burger? Burger's lovely. Yeah? Yeah. Your chips, a little bit cool. Dad, sandwich. My boy is nice. Yeah. yeah. Is that all you've got to say? That's all I've got to say. The mahi mahi is nice. Well, there we go. We are all out and done. A very long meal that was. Service wasn't the best. Uh, food was decent. The burger was very nice. The fries that came with it were pretty poor. Um, would I go back? Mm. Sorry, but in my opinion, Summer House knocks spots off that. Really does. For stuff on the menu, the food and that, Summer House beats that hands down. Yeah. Hands down. One thing I'd mention is, I mean, it was very busy, so you've got to cut them a little bit of slack. Um, our guy was trying to run around all over the show, but very, very noisy in there as well, I would say. Especially the section we were sat in, it was very noisy in terms of people. There wasn't any music, but like, no, people noise. Does that makes yeah, sense talking and yeah. I think we all got a little bit like when the food took so long and then all you got is that noise. It, we all got a little bit um, touchy. It was good. Uh, we did. We got our annual pass discount in there, which was good as well. But yeah, if you gave me a choice, I think I probably would still pick. I'd pick the Summer House over that. I'd pick Splitsville over that as well, still as well. I do like Splitsville. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you probably have to go back and try maybe some... I think if you love your seafood, definitely give, and give it a try. Maybe a bit earlier in the day when it's not quite so busy. And sit out by the lake. Where we sat, wasn't particularly any views to look at, nothing to look at really. It was a standard booth. But uh, yeah, it was okay. It was okay, but we are definitely ready for bed now. Knackers, I noticed I didn't go for the dessert because I, by the end of it, I was sort of just done. So I didn't try any dessert. I think we're all just ready for bed now. Uh, and we're up early tomorrow because the plan is uh, me and Laura are going to do early entry. Mum and dad are going to have a coffee. And then we'll uh, 
Hit Islands of Adventure. We've got our uh, annual passes, so we get early entry. Uh, Mum and Dad don't on their 14-day pass, but uh, we're going to do the early entry and then get Mum and Dad will come in as soon as they can at uh, 9 o'clock, and we'll do some bits with them. But uh, yeah, I'm ready for bed now. I'm knackered, knackered. It was a long meal. I mean, look at how quiet it's gone in between coming out. It's gone absolutely dead. So even at 11 o'clock at night, there is still a 20 odd minute queue for Gideon's for a cookie. Just insane. They must be some phenomenal cookies, they. They must be. And uh, raglan and roll, good little atmosphere, bit of singing going on. Good little vibe in there. Well, that's it for today. I hope you did enjoy that. Thank you very much for joining us along the way. It was a bit of a bit of a young day. Didn't quite go to plan with Universal. Very busy. Rain this morning as well. Boat house wasn't as good as I'd have hoped. I was excited for that. It was okay. But tomorrow is a new day. We are up and out early. We're hopefully going to go and do a bit of uh, islands of adventure. Maybe get on those water guns. Bit of bit of roller coasters and. All that good stuff so do join us tomorrow uh, thank you very much for watching do please hit the thumbs up uh, make sure you do subscribe as well it's completely free and we'll uh, catch you tomorrow ride on bye guys, bye guys.